Deliverance Church Theater, Life Transformation Center, welcomes you to a life-changing program. Tazama Ju. Psalms 121 says, Our help comes from above, and your life will never be the same again. Tazama Ju. Let it be your prayer. Spirit be Together, let's connect with the heavens. Be blessed. Good morning, children. Bwana sifuye sana. How are you? I hope you are well. The Lord has kept you safe. Even this time we have stayed without seeing each other. Karibuni sana. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. We worship you because you are Lord. Thank you because of giving us this morning so that we can be able to speak and hear from you, O Lord. Thank you because of our children, our parents who are listening to us. Lord, we pray that you speak to them because you are faithful. We worship you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bwana sifuye sana. I know you are good. I can see you smiling. You are looking well. Please have your seat. Take your book, notebook, take your Bible and your pen so that we can hear what the Lord wants to uh, speak to us. Before we continue, I want to say hi to all of you. Our greetings from our Reverend Stanley, our Reverend Moses, our Pastor Evans and all our teachers. Uh, today, we are going to continue with our lesson that we started on Sunday through our, uh, our teacher, Susan. What did she speak to us about? Can you remember? She spoke to us about eagle. Yes, what is an eagle? An eagle is a very big flying bird, a flying bird. As you can look uh, behind me, you can be able to see a very big uh, picture of an eagle. Yes, an eagle is a big an, uh, bird that flies high. It flies high above even the clouds. And it has eyes like our eyes. So it sees. It can see. And as we were taught on Sunday, how it flies high and what it does. Today we are going to look at the eyes of an eagle. And an eagle has a very sharp eye. It sees very far. Do you remember it flies above the clouds? Can you see the clouds? Children, can you see the clouds? Yes, imagine eagle can fly above the clouds. And when it is there, it can be able to see us. It can be able to see a fish inside the water. It can be able even to see something that is inside a bush. Why? Because it has a very sharp vision. Vision, ni kuona. Your eyes, can, can you close one eye? Can you close the other one? Can you close both of them? Can you see anything? I can't see anything. But when I open my eyes, wow, I thank God for giving me good eyes. I can be able to see. Can you thank God for giving you good eyes? Yes. And you can be able to see. A nigo can be able to see its enemies. Ata sisi, mungu anatupatia macho. Good eyes so that you can be able to see our enemies. Enemies ni nani? Wale watu ama vitu, wanyama ambao wanakuja kutu kula, kutu haribu. Na wakati mingine unapata kuna enemies ambao ni friends wako. Friends wako wanakuambia mfanye dhambi. Those are enemies and you should not be their friends and you should not go together with them. So we have flying birds that can see. An eagle is one of them that can see very, very far. Today, as we are talking about possessing a sharp vision, possessing, kupata kuona vizuri. Kupata kuona vizuri. Ambao, we are getting from the story of David. That is from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16. If you start from uh, verse 1, all the way to chapter 17, we hear the story of David. Who was David? David was a young boy as your age and in the, he was a son of a Jesse and in the family there were eight boys eight of them 
And those eight boys, uh, David was the youngest, small as you are. But God used, God used uh, David and he called him to be a king as young as he was. And imagine, alikuwa na big brothers na mungu haku wachukua hao. Kwa nini? Because David obeyed God. David uh, was listening from God. David was a prayerful person. David walked with God. Do you do that? Do you do that? Yes, that one thing you should do. One thing is that you must be an obedient child. You must walk with God. And that's why we are having good vision. That's why we are talking about vision today. Because vision, it can be these eyes that we can see. Do you have a vision for your future also? That is something else. That is, what do you want to become when you grow up? I know there are those that want to be doctors. Others want to be pilots. Others want to be farmers. And mention them. Yes, all of those ones. Those are visions and dreams you should have for your future. Sababu, sahi, you are a young child. You are a young boy, a young girl. But tomorrow, when you'll be grown up like your teacher Anne Getonga here, you'll be able to walk and do so many things. Because God will have walked with you. Because today you have a vision. And you must make sure that that vision is alive. You must make sure that that vision, you are still holding it. And you can be able to see far. Bona sifuwe sana. So, one day, let's hear about the story of David. David was uh, taking care of the sheep of his father. Kondo za baba yake dizo alikuwa na chunga. Anazipeleka, anarudi. Anazipeleka, kuchunga, anarudi. One day. What? One day. Imagine a lion came. Lion. <sighs> that lion. Do you know what is a lion? Yes. It's a very tough animal. Iti, ilikuwa inataka kukula kodo. Lakini, David alikuwa na macho inaona. Alikuwa na concentrate kitu ya kwanza. One thing he used to concentrate. Kukoncentrate ni kumanisha. Akitunga kodo, hafanyi haendi kucheza ball. Apana, akitunga kodo, hafanyi mambo zigine. Anaangalia kodo imeenda wapi. Hiyo ingine imeenda wapi. Hiyo ingine imeenda wapi. Anaangalia. So he was able to see the enemy. That is the lion. And then he ran after the, an, the lion. He ran after the lion. Akashika. Sababu mungu walikuwa na yeye. Akampea wisdom. God gave him wisdom on how to kill that lion. God will give you wisdom. When you focus. When you focus. When you have in your dreams. In that vision. When you concentrate, God will give you wisdom on how to tackle everything. Then one thing. God Olympia strength. God gave uh, David, as young as he was, strength to be able to kill that big lion. Even us, when we concentrate, when we focus, God will give us strength. Today we can look at what is surrounding us. We can see corona. We can't be able to go to church. We can't be able to go to school. We can't move out. We can't go uh, uh, to our social place and other places because of this enemy, Corona. But God will give us strength to be able to handle it. Wakati tu konyumbani tunambiwa, wash your hands. Do you obey? Keep distance. Do you obey? Do you listen to what our, our parents are telling us? What about, do you read your, the word of God today? What does your Bible tell you to do? You should read the word of God. David, another day, another bear came. Another enemy came. That was called bear. Big animal. Imagine Ilikuja. When David looked at it, he never feared. He ran after the sheep. He ran after the sheep. So he held the bear, killed it, killed it, crushed it, crushed it and killed that bear. Why? Because God was with him. David focused. David concentrated. David looked at everything that was coming to destroy. And what did he see? That animal. And he killed it. Even you, you can be able to kill your enemy. Yes. 
it is not a must you kill it kabisa like that but when you pray god will give you direction when you have vision you'll be able to know how to handle if it is like uh, those friends that are telling you to do dirty things to watch porn no, to to do other things you'll be able to say no to them bana sifue sana so one day Jesse, the father of david told him that i want to send you where it was during king saul's time and there were enemies who came to fight the israelites israelites walikuwa watu ambao mungu alikuwa amechagua his people and king saul akaita jeshi na watu wote the three brothers of david walikuwa wameenda na yeye wakaenda ku fight they had spears wengine mapanga wengine bowls wengine mention them Yes, all of those ones. Wakaenda kupigana. They had stayed for 40 days. 1 2 3 40 days. Imagine every day there was a very big giant. What was the name of the giant? Goliath. Big big giant. That giant wanted to fight them. Every day alikuwa anajitokeza anasema, Who is that big? Who is that strong? who will come and fight me now when now copa they feared why because they just looked at the appearance of goliath they never involved god david akafika huko akafika akasikia akienda kuongea na brother zake akasikia goliath akisema who is that ready to fight me i am big akatusi akaongea mambo mabaya towards the israelites David akasema who is this Philistine who is abusing who is talking bad and ill about the people of God David akasema I will fight him wakamwambia you are just a boy and I akasema no because David had a vision you remember I told you that David was anointed to be a king as young as he was so he had a vision of tomorrow And that's why I told you that even your vision of what you want to become you must protect it. You must focus. So, if it is in your studies you must do good studies. When you're told to do the homework, do it. Yes. David knew that tomorrow I'll be a king. He had tomorrow's vision. And he said I will fight him because I will not carry this spear. Akavalishwa his own nguo za vita. Akashindwa because they were very heavy. Yeye akasema I am not carrying spear I am not carrying panga I am going in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ our God who live Yes what do you do Ukipatwa na shida do you start crying do you tell anybody or do you tell God you should involve God David alijua siri moja ni ku involve Mungu How do you involve God by praying by telling God that God I cannot do without you help me in this vision and that's why I told you that you should protect your eyes so that you can be able to see everything that comes your way yes you should protect it even your future you must protect it by if it is studying you study the word of God you be prayerful you be uh, reading the word you be a worshipper because even David was a worshipper akatokelezea hey goliath kumuona he laughed at him ha 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 look at this boy you are coming to fight me but david told him i am coming to you in the name of our lord jesus our god who is in heaven our god who lived i'm coming back to you in that akatoa stone yake na sling akaweka stone kwa sling aka swing aka swing aka swing because of good vision because of good eyes david was able to see ni wapi goliath had cover you remember alikuwa amevaa guo za metal tuma alikuwa amevaa very big helmet that covered everywhere apart from the eyes and the forehead so david because of good eyes he was able to see eh, i can see hapa kwa forehead it's not covered so aka swing aka swing the sling wa akagonga goliath because of the power of our god because he had a good vision because he involved god 
God helped him to kill Goliath. Today, we must look at what is surrounding. Kuna mambo mengi inaendelea. Ukiangalia, maybe you are becoming angry because of many things. Maybe unakatazwa kuenda nje. Unakatazwa kuwatch uh, movie. Unakatazwa kufanya mambo mabaya. You become angry. You need to involve God to remove that anger. You need to involve God to be able to do your studies. You need to involve God to live together with your friends and your parents also. Yes, we need to involve God in everything. David concentrated in God. So he was a worshiper. We must be worshippers. Hatuwezi ka hivyo bila kumsifu Mungu. We must give thanks in everything. All the time, remember you need to give thanks. You need to worship God. You need to have a, a focus for tomorrow's vision, for your future. You need to involve God. Bwana sifue sana. God will help you. Remember I told you when you involve God, you'll get wisdom, you'll get strength, you'll get direction. Is it? When you have good vision, all those ones will be able to come your way. When you involve God, you'll be able to see your tomorrow and you'll become what you want to be because God will walk with you. God will help you to become that what you want to become. I want you to read our memory verse from the book of, open with me, the book of uh, Proverbs 29, verse 18a. Can you read with me? Where there is no vision, the people perish. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Yes. Something else, in the book of Ephesians, verse, uh, chapter 1, verse 18, in K, uh, King James Version, it says, the eyes of your understanding is being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling. Yes, when you involve God, he'll be able to open your inner eyes. I told you there is that inner eyes so that you can be able to see his calling. Mungu amekuita ukue nini? Aliita David akue king. Wewe amekuita ukue nini? you'll be able to understand. You'll be able to know because macho yako itafunguliwa ili uweze kuona what God has called you to be. Ili iweze kuelewa. Kama vile David alijua. Aka worship, aka omba, aka soma neno, aka obe. Ata wewe ukifanya hayo, God will give you strength, God will give you wisdom, God will open your eyes, will enlighten you so that you can be able to see. May God bless you. May God see you through. May God help you to obey. May God help you to see what he has called you to be. Na utakuja kukua. Hiyo, unatamani, ukinvolve mungu. May God bless you so much. Wacheni tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo, tunakushukuru, tunasema ni asanti kwa wakati umetunenea concerning our vision, concerning our eyes, that we need to have focus, that we need to uh, open our eyes, come and open our inner eyes so that we can hear and we can see from you, oh God, we can be able to understand what you want us to be. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Everybody say amen. Amen. God bless you. Shalom. Spirit lead me when my trust is without borders. Deliverance Church Theater, Life Transformation Center, welcomes you to a life changing program. Tazama Ju. Psalms 121 says, Our help comes from above, and your life will never be the same again. Tazama Ju. Together, let's connect with the heavens. Be blessed. <laughs>